So there are a number of, I mean, what you describe, there are a number of strategies on a number of levels. First of all, uh, your sort of little personal rituals um, to, 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 manage, to manage yourself, but then also from a sort of a team and a structural point of view that you're kept busy with doing drills and that your time is, is highly structured. Um, but that you also find space to be creative and, and, and gamify, gamify the whole thing with leaderboards and, and, and small wins and competition. So, I mean, tell me in terms of team morale, how surely the team must have fluctuated in their morale and wh whose responsibility was it to keep everyone moderately happy? Tell me in terms of team morale, how... Surely the team must have fluctuated in their morale. And wh whose responsibility was it to keep everyone moderately happy? A, a tin can with 65 other guys for 100 days. <laughs> uh, team, team morale becomes integral. Um, now, obviously, we had, we had, very, we had very structured hierarchy uh, in, on, on the boat itself, as is customary with the Navy. Uh, so you've got a very strict hierarchy. But... I think the thing that uh, that stood out at the time was how, you know, it wasn't necessarily the the job of management or the officers or the senior officers on board the boat uh, to be able to look after team morale. Um, it 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 was a shared responsibility uh, on how team morale was was being looked after, um, and like I said, it's a, it, it's a very very big thing, um, and it 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 can exist on 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 different levels. You know, you it can it can resist uh, team morale could be where you're looking at only blue team, uh, there's, a, there's a certain team morale inside that team, especially when they achieve a certain objective, like you know, finishing a particular drill in a particular time faster than everybody else. And then they, they, there's team morale for the forward accommodation, um, where you know, it's, 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 it's everybody that sleeps inside that area, how you're gonna look after their team morale. And like I said, the responsibility was very much, um, it, it wasn't just the responsibility of management to look after it, because in essence, what happens on, on, on board a submarine is that, uh, the senior officers are a little bit removed um, from the non-commissioned officers uh, in, in in several ways. You know, it's not just it's not just the sleeping accommodation or the eating accommodation, but also where they do their work. You know, so you don't really have a lot of interaction with your uh, with your with your senior uh, your senior officers or your senior management team. So that responsibility gets gets uh, gets put on on some of the senior guys inside that accommodation itself. You know, the guys that have their finger on the on on the on, on the pulse of what's actually happening inside that accommodation. And that was quite nice because in hindsight, what, what would happen is that, you know, if, if, there was, if there was a certain event or if there was a certain point in time where you could see that team morale was a little bit down and it's quite obvious, you know, in, a, in accommodation where there's, where there's 40 odd people sleeping, it's, it's very simple to see when there's no team morale because there's nobody sitting around, everybody's in their beds or there's one or two oaks that's playing uh, imaginary marbles or something like that, you know. So it then becomes the responsibility of those individuals to be able to carry the team through those periods. Um, and there was very specific individuals that, that would then put their hand up um, and we would, you know, you would do a, a game of charades or, or something like that. Quite incidentally, by the way, it's the junior guys that had to decide the theme for the charades. A very, very big responsibility because if you screw that up, uh, it's, it, it, it comes with a big bad backlash. But anyway, um, so that was, that was one of the significant things, I think, that, uh, that stood out for us in terms of team morale and how, how the responsibility for making sure that the team morale was not just existent, but at, at high levels, um, was, wasn't necessarily just one or two people on the boat. It was designated to quite a few guys. And importantly, most of the guys that, were, that had sort of, um, that were staying in the accommodation with, with, with where the team morale was actually required. Yeah.